Karu Bonsai. It's the latest issue. You will never hear the real behind the scenes of any film unless you are at one. Buckaroo, President's on line one, calling about is everything okay with the alien space cloud from Planet 10 or should he just go ahead and destroy Russia? Tell him yes on one and no on two. Which was yes, to destroy Russia or uh, number two? Nobody grasps Buckaroo. I, I, there was no stage in the doing of Buckaroo, no stage afterwards that I ever grasped what Buckaroo was about. If Buckaroo comes along, I don't, didn't understand what Buckaroo was about. And then I had a dinner out here in LA with uh, W.D. Richter and his lovely wife and Mac Rausch, Neil Canton, producer, great people. And they just said, you're the guy for this, you know? You're like a fascinating guy and you're smart and you're a musician. And, and you know, you think you're not a sucker for flattery, but when, <laughs> when you sit down and have dinner, people say, you're the guy for this. Uh, you are the guy for it. So, you know, I ended up doing Buckaroo. I wanted to make up this guy as a combination of Kazan, because Kazan was certainly one of the most brilliant observers of human nature. And then I really dug Adam Ant. And Adam Ant had a great swing performance to him, even though he's a rocker, but he sort of crossed the genre boundary there. And then one of the great people I admired all my life, and I just I saw him in an interview with Dick Cavett, was Jacques Cousteau. And Jacques Cousteau was, look, a photographer, a marine biologist, a sailor, a diver. The guy invented scuba. So if you take those three people, the liquidity and the incision of Kazan and the brilliance of Cousteau and the entertainment of Adam Ant, those are my three role models to, to combine, you know, to make Buckaroo. Hey, 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 no. Don't be mean. We don't have to be mean. Because remember, no matter where you go, there you are. One of the most entertaining times I've ever had in my life was standing between John Lithgow and Christopher Lloyd being tortured at the end of Buckaroo with that phony baloney, unbelievable Mussolini-like accent of Lithgow, big booty, big booty. And behind me was Lloyd eating Doritos while he's trying to get uh, Lithgow to call him the right name. I think I fell out of the shot in hysterical laughter about 50 times before they got a good one on me. I couldn't stand it. And I'd say, okay, guys, seriously, seriously, I'm gonna have to ask, I'm gonna have to ask the ADs, assistant directors coming in to say the lines. It's serious. And they were serious, except that those two dudes are like genius actors, those two guys. Buckaroo Banzai was giftedly sort of entered into the Lincoln Center archives a few years ago, uh, this sort of dress up affair at Lincoln Center, a very honorable thing, and Lithgow and I were, showed up for it. We sat in the back and I thought, well, I hope they don't ask me to introduce the film to these dozens and mockers and money people of New York and the, sophist uh, you know, the sophisticates of New York uh, art society because I don't know what Buckaroo is about. I know what I did in it. I hope they don't ask me. And all of a sudden, up to the stage steps Kevin Smith, the great Kevin Smith of, of hockey jersey fame and a smart dude. And uh, he gave it this 20 minute homage and a, one of the most articulate uh, observational introductions on a piece of art for which there's not much explanation. It's, it's like trying to explain Dadaist art, you know? What does that come out of? Does it come out of abstract? Does it come out of cubism? Does it come out of uh, uh, post-depressionism? Is it a statement of the future? Is it, what, what is it? And that's what trying to explain Buckaroo is. But Kevin said this, the film defines an encapsulating genre that defies a single genre. So you could say it's an action, adventure, science fiction, comedy, love story, romance, social, historical, collision, inform informative, farce, documentary, docudrama. I mean, you know, I, I, and or it's either one of those, any of those, and all of those. 
And it could be all of those. And I'm sitting there with Lithgow, and I say, I didn't know that, did you, John? And John says, I didn't know that either. The best thing you could take out of a film is the love that you've shared with the cast and crew. And that experience of doing Buckaroo was absolutely lovely.